Hello, I'm John Hughes from Bullworker. What I'd like to do is correct some misinformation, false statements about what's known as tendonitis in the elbow. Even gone so far to slander it and say Bullworker elbow. First of all, tendonitis in the elbow is a result from improper training form. If I had a dumbbell that weighs five pounds, I can move the dumbbell laterally and my elbow will not suffer for it. If this dumbbell weighs 50 pounds, I'm putting undue pressure and a motion that is not natural for the elbow joint. I'm going to strain the ligaments, the tendons, I'm going to get tendonitis, I'm going to get a sore elbow. That's the nature of the movement of the body. Same thing goes with the bulwark. On a compressions, keep your elbows up. If you're stronger, the elbow is designed to work this way, and you'll be pain free in the elbows. Keep the elbows down, compress it as hard as you can, you're going to hurt your elbows. Last, slander, retro force. There is no retro force from the bulwark. The spring can only kick back what it's being compressed. So if you have 50 pounds of pressure going down, you do not have more than 50 pounds coming back. There's no such term as retro force, greater than what's being compressed. If I'm doing a bench press and I'm trying to raise the weight 100 pounds, there is 100 pounds pushing down on me. If I'm doing an overhead press, trying to raise 100 pounds, there is 100 pounds coming back down. The same thing is true on the bull worker. I compress 100 pounds on the bull worker, there is only 100 pounds kicking back. You cannot have greater force than what's being applied. So, use correct form. Keep those elbows up, and you'll have a lifetime of bull worker exercises, pain-free. Thank you very much.